Guild Wars 2 is a huge game. It has a lot of maps, and in every single one of them, you're heavily rewarded to explore it over and over again. For achievements, for different events, for skins, for currencies, and of course as well, for map completions that will give you rewards in order to make legendaries in the game. That's why an add-on like the one we're gonna talk about today that literally tells you and shows you the best way of exploring and getting these achievements in the first place is so useful for every, almost every type of content in terms of open world exploration. So I'm gonna tell you the best add-on to use for this and of course the best pathing sets that you can get for different types of situation in the game. Subscribe to the channel for more content of this, go to my coffee if you wanna support me, and let's get into it. So. What is this add-on? Well, first of all, you start with Blaze HD. This add-on will give you more add-ons in the first place, but it's where the big add-on that we want to talk about today, Pathing, is in. First, you want to just go to your uh, Blaze HD website. I'll leave it in the description. Download the latest. Just download the, you know, just download the, the folder. You extract it and you copy it in the main, uh, um, in the main folder of Guild Wars 2 where the uh, EXE is. Then you just want to launch it and it'll ask you to put in where the Guild Wars 2 file is for you. Then you want to go into Blitz HD, you want to go into settings, going to go to manage API keys and put your API key. If you already have one, otherwise you want to go into manage applications, it'll lead you to this website here, API, API key management. You want to press new key and then you want to uh, do what this beautiful um, instructions tell you so they want you to at a minimum put account character uh, account and character permissions like here uh, account and characters but honestly i'll just put everything and just call it blish because uh, like there's really no reason not to do it and then create the api key and then copy the key and put it here for your character after that in this case what you want to go in here is get pathing so you want to go here into man module repository go to pathing Boom, install it, done. Then you wanna go to uh, manage modules, go to pathing and enable module. After this, you're gonna want to start thinking about which uh, modules you wanna get, right? Uh, there's a lot of uh, interesting ones and a lot of for different situations. You wanna just go in, in here into the pathing thing and then download marker packs and you'll see all of them uh, right here, right? There's other settings that you can use for, you know, for having different opac opac opacity over the uh, trails if you don't want them to be too, you know, too bright or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of different things that you can do for your map. You can just customize it the way that you want to. Now, which are the very, very good pathings, uh, path sets? Uh, all of them, as you can see here, have a bit of a description on how uh, and what they're used for. For example, here in Starks, um, super Adventure Box Guide, it gives you normal mode guide to efficient Super Adventure Box farming, right? Pretty cool, right? Uh, so depending on what you enjoy and what you need, you can just go in here and even search, right? Like uh, Super Adventure Box and it'll tell you, hey, this one does that, right? Uh, and you can just use this to search whatever you want. Uh, for me, I already uh, tried almost all of them. Well, actually, I, I tried all of them and I know more or less which, what are more or less what they do and which are the best ones for each uh, situation. First, we're gonna start with the open world packs that will give us achievements, map completion, hero points, fishing, all that kind of stuff. I really like Heroines Darks um, for Super Adventure Box Guide. I think it's pretty cool. It doesn't really have anything else other than the normal mode, right? Uh, but for type of exploration and for normal mode to get all the dig sites and all this other stuff, I think it's very, very good. Lady Elisa's very good one as well. I really enjoyed it. It's a little bit of a jack of all trades. It has almost everything. It also has some super adventure box things, which is very, very useful. Uh, and honestly, I would just install this one because regardless of what you're doing, you might actually need it, right? And of course, you can't. You don't have to have it on all the time. You can go here into pathing and check uh, uh, on Lady Elisa's and go inside and just pick up whichever you need for the situation. Uh, it is definitely not the best for... Uh, no, the best for hero points or the best for map completion or the map best for map traversal But it's a bit of a it has a little bit of everything So if you as long as you install it, you might uh, Use it in a situation where you're just missing um, an, A trail for this specific map and I think that's very 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 cool Of course you can uh, do this with every one of them all of them had like different categories inside of their categories And you can just pick and enable the ones that you actually want to use Flutes friendly collection groups, very, very cool as well. 
Uh, there's some of the collections that are kind of hard to get in the game or you know to find and this one really has almost all of them so it's very 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 useful uh, and have it in here just so you don't have to go to the wiki to check wh where the collection is it's very very useful uh, same thing for this one, uh, Metal Marker Mirror. Uh, I, I usually have a, the collection ones like doubled, just in case that one collection path is not good or it doesn't exist in one of them and it does in the other. So I might as well have both of them together, right? Uh, only fish, very useful if you really like fishing, right? It will tell you where, which, type, which type of fish are in different maps, where are the spawn locations, uh, and it's very, very useful if you really like doing that. Right. This one, Japix Trails for gathering uh, trails, is if you really like doing that, or home instance uh, gathering, it's very, very good. Uh, I don't do that, so I actually don't really care that much. I don't have it downloaded, but if you really like that kind of stuff, very, very good. Test Trails, my favorite one for map completion. Test Trails map completion, essentially, is just the most efficient map completion add-on, well, pathing set out there. It will tell you which, uh, which mount to use in very specific spots, during the run, it will tell you to utilize anything in your power, like J personal waypoints, or of course also your rewinder, uh, so you have a better and easier way for moving around the map. For example, let's say that I was on the top of that place there, uh, or like let's say I, no, let's move it to ourselves to, towards here. Let's say that you know we want to get one lantern uh, that is rub, you know, is right there. And then you wanna, I don't know, fly with your griffon to the other side. It will tell you, hey, put the mark location here, drop yourself down, pick the lantern, take that jade battery, for example, and then come back and now use your griffon and go the other way, right? That way it'll be, you know, you won't have to climb back up, for example. And it's probably my favorite one and most used one, as I do a lot of map completion for legendaries. And it's super, super good. Everything with Te, very much a big seal of approval for me. Uh, this one is actually very interesting, Moment on the World. This one just makes it so you will be able to see the game in a different light. The paths in here are crafted um, specifically with the scenic route, route in mind. For you to look at the game in different angles, you know, for you to see the best spots and more beautiful spots of the game and not missing them. Which is honestly a very cool thing as some people just want to be very, uh, what's the word? very efficient but never take their time to actually enjoy the game and this path will make it the other way around reactive and uh, reactive is one in french and one in english uh, and i really think this one is also kind of nice uh, it overlaps with a few of them that were talked about before uh, you know uh, like achievements and stuff of like this and gathering but just like the Lady Elisa's ones, it's a jack of all trades, right? It has a little bit of everything and you can just use it and have it on just in case that something in this path set is a bit better than the other one. Test Trails Hero Points is the same thing as the map completion one. I really like this one. If you really like, you know, doing hero point trains, this will make it as sweaty as you can in terms of how fast you can go and do those hero points. It will it utilize every type of... Uh, mount in the game and little item that you can use to make it faster for you. It's definitely not for everyone, it's for essentially uh, for veteran players, but if you have a lot of ults, this is going to be very, very useful. This one, PPU's Power Paths, this is actually very interesting as well. Another beetle racing um, path that will give you the best ways of getting gold on every one of the beetle adventures. Negger's Hordes of Lost and Forgotten Markers. This one is only for the treasure mushroom hiding spots, and I use it only for that. And, well, Look, uh, the tertiary mushrooms are very profitable, so having a little trail that tells me that those, you know, those are there, it's very useful. And also for me to re get reminded that I have to get that treasure mushroom, right? Heart zones, it just gives you an, an outline of where the heart starts and where it ends. You know, a little like, uh, like it'll give you like, let's say that there's a heart here, it'll give you like an outline like this. Like this is the, this is the spot where you can actually progress this heart, which is very useful spe specifically for map completion in the core maps. Mad King's Labyrinth Commander Pack. This is essentially for you to be able to command the, lab the Mad King's Labyrinth in uh, Halloween and have the best ways and the best routes for you. Honestly, um, I, I probably wouldn't gonna, I'm going to use this one specifically when the Halloween comes out so I can learn a bit more on how to command that one as I'm not really that familiar with it. Bill Racing Tracks is the same as before. It's just a good add-on to have to get a gold medal in Beetle Races. Now we're going to go for endgame packs for fractals, raids, strikes, Warvus World, stuff like this. 
right? Mesomer fractal skips, if you like doing fractals and you want to be very efficient on them and know exactly where to put portals to do certain skips, this is a must have. Very, very used and gets updated free, free recently, right? Here's marker pack is definitely and insanely good for instance content as well. You can get it for fractals, race strikes, missions, dungeons, uh, of course, to get different little like intricacies in those instances that you will not know or most people won't know about. It will just tell you so you can actually utilize them to go uh, to have a smoother run and of course also uh, a faster run, which I think is very, very cool. It's, you know, way more complete than the one that we're talking about before for fractals, the Mesmer Fractal Skips, as this one only has like Mesmer Fractals um, Skips uh, and nothing else, but this one will essentially give you a little bit of everything for every class, which is very, very cool. For example, like the Dragon Hunter Skip at uh, Uncategorized, right? I think that's, you know, specifically for new players, this is very, very useful as most people, yeah, we know because we've played the game for a long time and people just tell you, and it's word of mouth, but if you're not, this will actually teach you a lot, which is very, very good. This is honestly, I'm just gonna go in there just to show you, I think it's great. Specifically for new players for War vs. World, because you guys know, like, the commanders know exactly where to put specific uh, siege to attack certain walls, for example. We don't. We're not, you know, we're not that good at the game, right? But, with this uh, pack, it'll actually tell you exactly where those things are. Uh, let me just enable it. It's a bit... Oh, actually, it is enabled. It is a bit uh, too much to see sometimes, specifically when you have, like, you know, look at that. Like, I'm not even close, and it's showing. Uh, but you can configure that out by just going into um, into pathing module settings, and then max view distance, you just make it a bit lower, so it only shows when you're kind of closer to them, which is very... is way better. Uh, so the immersion is not too fucked. But, for example, there you go. Well, I'm, well I can, yeah, I can drop there. Um, it'll tell us that, you know, putting the flame ram here will make us, you know, kill this gate here. If you put a, uh, is that a trebuchet? I, I, I'm not close enough. No, a catapult here, you'll be able to break the, uh, this wall, for example, right? And it tells you the best ways of doing this, which is very, very useful for a new player like me for Warper's World. Very, very good. I really recommend it. The tryhard marker pack. Now this one is a very interesting one for fractals. It's essentially as tryhard as you can get to do every skip and every speedrun strat in fractals, right? Uh, if you want to learn that, um, it's definitely I would definitely recommend you. And if you want to, you know, not only learn but you know remember to do those things, yeah, that's it's it's very good. Gears to Twisted Castle, he'll tell you exactly where everything is for that specific encounter, and that's a confusing encounter, so I would definitely recommend it if you're learning it or you're commanding it, so you just, honestly just to remember where everything is, as sometimes it can get a bit too much, right? And there you go! Those are my favorite ones, the ones I use and the ones I think it are worth uh, completing uh, using. Uh, most of them, honestly, are good anyways, even the ones that I didn't mention. I just kind of went for the ones that I really, really think are great. But honestly, there's a good way to... There's a reason to use almost all of them. Um, definitely uh, try them all out to see which ones you prefer, as not the same ones that I'm going to prefer are going to be the ones that you like and work for you. Tell me if I missed anything. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me if you're going to use it and for what reason. And of course, go to my Twitch to watch me live and using those things. Of course, the spats on stream. Go to my ko if you want to support me. Go to my YouTube and subscribe, of course. We're here. And, uh, you know, hey, if you want, you can actually go to the each of, each of these people's paths, uh, websites and ko and everything, or Patreons, and support them as well as they are giving a lot to the community by letting this available and, of course, also updating it as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Love you all. Bye-bye.